put them into a big bucket because you and I have talked about this a lot. I would put them into a big bucket of anything that attempts to categorize human beings into simple boxes is causing trouble. And that's learning styles. It's personality type assessments. It's generations. You know, this, this need we have for easy answers and simple tricks for managing a given group um, d doesn't work very well. It's very appealing. It's like astrology. Oh, well, I'm this type and I do this and I do this and you say that and it'll, it'll work. I understand the desire to oversimplify and to, to categorize things, but I think it gets us into trouble. And I, I've written about this in particular about learning style. Um, you know, uh, a conversation was, well, so what, Jane? We're trying to make things more interesting for people. What's the harm? Well, there is harm if a child who has a legitimate learning issue is categorized as kinesthetic and shoved into some group where he's told to go play sports all day instead of getting the real help he needs. There's real harm if an employee does not get a promotion because they've been um, dismissed as just being a kid who's not interested in sticking with a job for very long. I mean, there is. There is harm. It's not just, oh, well, that's cute and it doesn't work. I, I, I think we need to pay attention to where the stereotypes and the attempts to oversimplify um, can hurt uh, employees or can hurt our, our initiatives, can hurt our own out, outcome. I mean, they're, they're, they're about 48. You can read my books on uh, uh, urban legends or myths in uh, in, 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 in learning and teaching. But I think the three possibly most prevalent are um, learning styles, that they exist and that you can make use of them, tell people to learn better. Yeah, that's so interesting. There are, there are a lot of, of interesting myths that people have had is um, learning style. Um, this is a very popular idea that um, we should adapt instruction to people's learning styles. So verbal learners should get verbal instruction. Visual learners should get visual instruction. Um, I, I think the overwhelming consensus in the research community is that that's not a helpful idea, that there's not re research support for, the idea, for that idea, although it's an extremely popular idea in education and in, um, um, in development of, of training materials. Um, I think good instruction that uses words and graphics together is more effective for everybody. <laughs> um, so um, having just verbal or just visual instruction is probably not a good idea. Okay, like anything else, like any field, there are always myths that persist. Those are around everywhere, and these are things like left brain and right brain dominance and uh, stuff like learning styles and so on. Wow, that's a hard one to feel you could take tackle in a very short period of time. Let's, learning styles, the old saw. Uh, there are no learning styles. There are no visual, verbal, haptic, uh, Myers-Briggs. None of that stuff works. I'm sorry. Uh, what does work is that there's some APA, American Psychological Association, has something called the Big Five. That works. Prior knowledge of things that somebody's going to learn and have to use at work, that, that's important. But learning styles, no. And I think that's the nice thing about that book by uh, Neelan and Kirshner, is that they have a complete list of these myths and so on. And a uh, good thing to read. And then if you doubt that evidence, go take a look. Thank <laughs> you.